what is the best resolution you can make this January? Well, actually, no resolution. You know why? Because we're not actually in 2023 yet. Yep, I'm here to blow your mind. I know December 31st, you were all out there partying. I was too. And a lot of people making resolutions on what they're going to do and how their new year is going to be. January starts and we're all kind of like, oh, and we last a few days and we're actually done with resolutions, right? There's a reason. This is not the month to do that. Please hold your resolutions till February, which is when the real 2023 starts around actually just before a Chinese New Year. But anyway, my point is this month of January, trying to put new habits in place, trying to put new processes, new rules to yourself, it's going to be too much. It's going to be overwhelming and you're going to kind of fail. I don't mean to be negative, but that's the truth of it. So give yourself a break. Give yourself a pat on the back and just chill this month. Why? Well, glad you ask. 2022 is on its way out, metaphysically speaking, and 2023 is on its way in. This January is the change between the two years. So you kind of have like two presidents in play, all right? One is leaving office, one is coming in. They don't like each other, all right? They don't like each other. One doesn't want to give up power. One wants to assert power. So there's this kind of trudge and drudge and heaviness around us that um, will affect us. So put your head down, focus on you, give yourself some rest time, um, eat lovely warm foods, uh, give yourself a break, sleep in, and know that in February, we will kick off the new year. But this month, my goodness, just give yourself a break, okay?